What is up everyone, it's Water and Grass here, and welcome to the very long awaited and long overdue episode 7 of Team Zeno. We have a fantastic episode for you guys today. It's actually chock full of vitamins and minerals, so it's healthy for you to watch this. You know, just keep that in mind when your parents are asking you what you're watching. Team Zeno episodes are incredibly healthy. <laughs> so anyway, let's move on to what this episode is about. Uh, we're going to move things along after me to Chris or Slayer of MCA, who's going to be talking about his top five favorite Pokemon moves. Now, there are a lot of moves out there, so I don't know how Chris is going to choose, uh, you know, five. I guess I could think of five, too, if I really thought about it, but I don't have that much of an attention span. I can't do it. <laughs> after Chris, we're going to pass things along to TCG Zapdos, or Josh, and he's going to be talking about Plasma Blast. That is the latest... English release set uh, as Genesect DX, Rizion DX, and of course the best card in the world, Shiny Execute. So, uh, it's a new set, it's an awesome card, it's one of my personal favorite black and white sets, so definitely stay tuned for that. After TCG Zapdos, we're going to pass things along to Mr. 801 Infernape, or Bryce, and he is going to be talking about the gaming news, and in case you haven't heard, there's a new Pokemon game being released in October, so yeah, there's, there's a lot of news to go along with that, <laughs> so stay tuned for that. After Mr. 801 Infernape, we are going to go to HSF 144, my friend Brian, and he's going to be reviewing Nintendo World in uh, Manhattan in New York, and he's also going to have a pack opening battle. Now, I don't know who the pack opening battle is against, but it's against someone, and let's hope HSF 144 wins, right? Team Zeno Power. <laughs> anyway, we're going to move things along back to me at the end of this video. I'm going to close it out. I'm going to go on a little mini rant about the prices of Pokemon cards these days, because... I'm, I'm, it's making me broke, guys. I'm just a college kid, and I, I, I'm broke. <laughs> All college kids are. But after that, I'm going to close this out. I'm going to give you the sponsors, you know, the little jokes we do at the end of these episodes. And then that is going to be it for episode 7. So without further ado, Mr. Slayer of MCA, what are your top five favorite Pokemon moves? Hey guys, what's up? Slayer of MCA here, repping for Team Sonor, and greetings from New Zealand. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top 5 favorite Pokemon moves. So without further ado, let us begin. So when I first got given this task, or this opportunity to share with everybody what my top 5 favorite moves are, uh, the instant classic uh, moves came into my mind in the terms or in the lines of Attract, Flash, Sleep Powder, Harden, Pound, and Hydro Pump. But then after a wee while, I thought, oh man, I better be a little bit mature about this. So without further ado, this is my top five. And the first one we're going to start off with is Bubble Beam. So the reason that I really, really like Bubble Beam is that it was always there in my mind whenever I think of an epic Pokemon move. Probably because of when I was playing Pokemon uh, Red and Blue and Green back in the good old days. Uh, when you beat Misty, the second gym leader, you are able to get this once one off you know tm and that will be bubble beam and i really really like the animated effects of it in the um in the game itself well not animated uh, sort of like the uh the attack motion of of that attack of bubble beam and that was the reason why it always stuck to my mind because it looks so freaking epic when you use it to attack another pokemon so the next move is fire blast so with, I don't know if you guys know, but in a lot of anime series, if you watch Ash and him and his journey, whenever there, whenever Ash uses a fire blast, uh, well, not when Ash does, when his Pokemon does, uh, such as Charizard or whatever, uh, that flame in that big shape like that is actually the Chinese character for big. Uh, so in like the Asian, like you know, in the Japanese translation of fire blast, it actually means big character. Blast or fire, something similar along those lines. That's why when that when that fire blast comes out, it will be in the um, in the Chinese character of Big. So that was that always stuck to my mind because I thought that was a bloody epic attack, and you know, fire blast just sounds so much better than I don't know Ember or I don't know Flamethrower is quite good, but you know, fire blast, man, damn right, sexy as attack. So the next move that I have is Ice Beam. One of the reasons that I like Ice Beam the most is because uh, when I remember uh, playing the good old games, Pokemon Red and Blue once again, uh, when you catch the legendary bird uh, Articuno uh, in the Seafoam Islands, if I remember correctly, um, one of its epic ass moves that I always like watching is Ice Beam, once again because of the battle animation effects that it has when it is used to attack another Pokemon. And it is always in my mind, like, you know, it was the attack that you can use to counter 
uh, dragon type Pokemon. Back then, there was no fairy Pokemon or blah blah blah. So it was always Ice Beam that was a go to, you know, Ice type was a go to one to kill off the dragon Pokemon when you are fighting the Elite Four. So that is my third favorite move. My fourth favorite move is, of course, Thunder. Now, Thunder is also my favorite move because I know uh, everybody knows that Thunder has a pretty low accuracy, being only about, I think, 70 um, out of the possible 100. And the attack, though, is 120, which is quite, quite a big amount of damage. Um, what I remember is uh, whenever I used to play the games and we're fighting like the Elite Four or any, any sort of gym leaders, it will always be my gamble go-to move because Thunder is like freaking as powerful, um, but not as accurate as you will like as you would like it to be. So that is why whenever I think about it, like I always be like, oh, I'm gonna use it. If I win, if it hits, I win. If I lose, or if I don't hit, I'm gonna lose it. So it always, you know, has a gambling side of my of my of my childhood that I would like like to use that game. I, I, I would like to use that move. And when it actually does hit, I'll be like, oh yeah, damn right, sexy ass. And I'll be like, damn, you know, I'm gonna win the game. Uh, so that is my fourth favorite move. And my last and my final favorite move is, of course, Mega Punch. So Mega Punch is a move that hasn't been widely used over the last few years. Um, but back in the good old days, man, Mew and uh, Kangaskhan, man, I always, always really like Mega Punch because it sounds like a freaking epic ass move and because it's a punch type, fighting type move. And the fighting type used to be my favorite type of fighting po or of Pokemon types. So it always held like this epic part into my heart, into my childhood. Uh, that is also why, you know, uh, Hitmonchan is one of my favorite Pokemon when I was growing up. And so like Mega Punch just adds to that wow effect value. So there you guys have up my top five favorite moves. Uh, let me know what your favorite move is and why. Uh, doesn't necessarily have to be five. Um, you can always just check down as one. Let me know. So without further ado, I'm gonna chuck you all to the next Elite Four member. What's up, YouTube? It's Ando TCJ here, and uh, yeah, I'm back. So uh, what did we miss? Well, first of all, Worlds went uh, down, and Jason Kalzinski was declared the winner of the entire tournament. If you want to see the final match, you can uh, watch it on my channel. And uh, in this section, I'm gonna talk about Plasma Blast. Yeah, the new set. So. The first card on my list is Verizion EX. This one is an EX Pokemon with his ability for then wind. Each of your Pokemon that has a grass energy attached to it can be affected by any special conditions, which could be useful in uh, certain situations like we still have that uh, hypnotoxic laser and stuff going on. So uh, other than that, I don't see any use. Uh, it only deals 50 damage, but you can also search your deck for two energies, uh, grass energies and attach them to one of your bench Pokemon. So maybe it can power up Genesect, which I'll talk about right now actually. So Genesect EX. Uh, ability Rat Signal, when you attach a Plasma Energy from your hands to this Pokemon, you may switch one of your opponent's Pokemon with one of your uh, opponent's uh, bench Pokemon, so it's sort of like a catcher. Uh, whenever you attach a Plasma Energy and then this attack, Megalo Cannon deals 100 damage and also uh, 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So it's sort of like a stronger um, attack like Darkrai EX, but uh, less on the bench and more uh, focused on the active Pokemon. Next we have uh, Blastoise. I'm not going to talk about every uh, card in the set, but just a quick review uh, of the cards I find interesting. So we get another Blastoise with the same ability like uh, the one we had in Boundaries Crossed. Then we have Suicune with the ability Safeguard, uh, which uh, prevents all attacks, uh, including uh, uh, the effects of the attacks done to this Pokemon by EX. So an EX blocker, also nice uh, for uh, Blastoise players out there. Also, uh, by the way, in Worlds there were lots of decks out there. We had uh, Deoxys Thunderous deck and then the regular Darkrai EX. Uh, Sableye deck and also lots of Blastoise uh, swimming around at the tournament. So yeah, anyway, uh, next I want to talk about Frostlass. His ability uh, cures Glare as long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon. Your opponent can attach any special energy cards uh, from his or her hand to his or her Pokemon. So this is an ideal blocker for the Thunderous uh, uh, Deoxys deck because uh, that mainly runs on the uh, special energy card, so great card. And we have Kyurem Yax, another one. Uh, this one is focused on the attack Outrage, also it deals uh, 150 damage with the attack uh, Giga Frost. Uh, this is really, really playable because there's also a Blastoise reprinted in the set and there are also uh, new cards reprinted in the set, so I'm uh, thinking about uh, that they're gonna have a rotation uh, by the end of uh, the beginning of the season because uh, Catcher and all the stuff is getting reprinted in this set. So. Uh, yeah, Kyurem, great attacker for, uh, yeah, lots of options, uh, you can use Blastoise to power him up, use the attack uh, Giga Frost or Outrage depending on how much damage counters uh, are on Kyurem EX. Next we have Electros, yes, the uh, EEL players out there should be, uh, yeah, prepared for Electros because, uh, yeah, it can do the attack. 
30 times uh, the number of energy you discard and you can discard as many energies as you like. So it's sort of like the Magma Zone in the past but instead of going to the last zone they go to the discard pile and you can get them back with some eels. So uh, yeah, a great card to boost your eel deck. Next we have Siglyph and uh, yeah, his ability Toolbox lets him uh, hold uh, up to 4 uh, uh, tool cards uh, yeah, on the same Pokemon. So Siglyph can hold 4 tool cards and an ideal deck that I already uh, figured out with this card is uh, we have, have the Trubbish from uh, another set. Uh, like Plasma, yeah, the Plasma set, another one, and uh, if you use that Trubbish uh, with the attack Tool Drop, which you'll see on the screen uh, somewhere around me, and yeah, together with Sigilev, you can deal lots of damage, actually, because that Trubbish deals the attack Tool Drop 20 damage times uh, each Tool card you have on your Pokemon, so a great combination right there, so Sigilev, something to look forward to. Next we have Jirachi EX with an ability, Stellar uh, Guidance, uh, when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may search your deck for a supporter card. So, a supporter uh, searcher, also uh, great, and uh, his attack sucks actually, because the defending Pokemon is now asleep. Uh, or actually both this Pokemon and the defending Pokemon are asleep, but we have a Hypnotoxic Laser that's just, you won't use Jirachi for his attack. Even for his ability, it's not that great in my opinion. Next we have Salamance. I talked about this one before, I believe in Japanese. We, uh, when you play this from your hand to uh, evolve your Pokemon, you may discard all Pokemon tool cards attached to uh, each of your opponent's Pokemon. So uh, cleaning away the tool cards, and those are being played lots of times. I've seen it in the uh, World Championship uh, battles, matches, so uh, yeah. But uh, you have to evolve it with rare candy, so I don't think Salamence will be played. Next we have Dialga EX, yeah. This one looks pretty sweet, but actually it's uh, pretty weird to power it up. It needs a uh, Psychic Energy, a Metal Energy and a Carless Energy only to deal 50 damage. And as a uh, other attack, Fast Forward deals 90 damage for each Plasma Energy card attached to this Pokemon. Discard the top card of your opponent's deck. So it's uh, sort of like Durant, but way worse since it's an EX and a Dragon type as well. So I don't think it's going to be played, but maybe in the future with some added cards uh, to help him out. Maybe it could be uh, the new Durant. Next we have Palkia EX. Uh, yeah, what well, we can you say about him? Also a weak attack and a second attack. Heal from this uh, Pokemon 20 damage for each Plasma Energy card attached to this Pokemon and you need a Grass and a Water, maybe I can use it uh, with Blastoise but I'm not such a big fan of uh, Palkia EX uh, to be honest. Next we have Porygon uh, Z, this one I talked about before his ability, uh, Plasma Transfer. As often as you like during your turn before you attack you may move a Plasma Energy attached to one of your Pokemon to one of uh, yeah another Pokemon so you can actually uh, conserve your energies by switching around and using Max Potion, healing them up and then uh, replacing them again to attack. So I really like Porygon Z, it reminds me of uh, the Kling Clank style version so definitely look out for Porygon Z, I, I think there will be made a deck with this uh, specific card. So, yeah, and for the people that are wondering why I'm talking so fast, it's because I don't want this video to be revolving all around myself. <laughs> there are also other members from Team Seno that want to have a talk in this episode. So, we have Chatot, uh, the annoying Pokemon. Actually, you can discard all tool cards attached to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Way easier, not with the Salamence Evolution, but just with the attack from Chatot. And it's a Plasma Pokemon as well, so you can't actually uh, fail with this one. <laughs> Uh, next is uh, some supporters I want to talk about, Catelyn, and this uh, is quite useful because put as many cards from your hand as you like on the bottom of your deck and then draw as many cards as you put uh, on the bottom of your deck. So actually if you say I have a hand, it's terrible, you put it all in the b bottom of your deck, you can draw that many cards. So great card actually. Next is uh, Iris, everyone loves Iris because of the anime. Uh, um, the uh, card states, during this turn your Pokemon's attack do 10 more damage to the active Pokemon for each prize card your opponent has taken. So uh, lots of uh, 10 boost uh, damage actually, if you can count. Uh, for each prize card taken you can uh, add it up to 50 extra damage which can be really helpful in the late game to get those last prize cards. Actually with Lugia EX I can see something working with that. Next we have, yeah, I'm uh, already be, uh, mentioned it, we have a reprint of Catcher. So People that uh, don't don't have catcher and uh, you want to uh, prepare yourself for a new season by this set. <laughs> Next we have um, a plasma item card, reversal trigger. When the team plasma Pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out uh, from damage from your opponent's attack, search your deck for a card and put it in your hand. Sort of like computer search after you've been knocked out. Pretty useful. Next is Silver Bangle, and uh, yeah, the attack of the Pokemon that this card is attached to, you deal 30 more damage to the active Pokemon. 
uh, but you can be an EX Pokemon, so it's just for the regular Pokemon, otherwise a Lugia EX will get another boost, so you can combine it with Iris and uh, do lots of damage. <laughs> Next is Silver Mirror, prevents all effects of the attacks, including damage done to the Pokemon this card is attached to. So uh, yeah, by your team, by your opponent's team, uh, Plasma Pokemon, so it's actually like if you have a Plasma Pokemon out there, you can't attack me. So yeah, it's pretty useful to block Deoxys EX and Thunderous EX and stuff like that. Uh, next we have some uh, Ace Pack cards I want to talk about, G Booster. Uh, it's only a card that you can attach to your Genesect EX and with that you can deal 200 damage, you discard two uh, energy cards attached to uh, Genesect afterwards, but 200 damage, you can't fail with that. Next is G-Scope, sort of like uh, the other one, but you deal 100 damage, but you can choose uh, which uh, target you attack. A snipe attack actually. Next we have uh, Ace Pack card Master Ball. You can search your deck for any Pokemon you want, but I wouldn't use Master Ball in your deck, never, because you only play with uh, basic Pokemon like EXs and stuff. So uh, you can uh, search them out way easier with uh, Ultra Ball and stuff. So yeah, next we have Scoop Up Cyclone. It's just like Super Scoop Up, but without the flip. That's right, you can just put him back in your hand uh, with all cards attached to him. And uh, now the Shinies, we have Execute from the set before. Uh, I talked about it in uh, my uh, own videos actually. And next, Verizion, and then we have Dusk Noir, uh, the one that moves damage counters, and then Rare Candy Shiny. So that's it for my section. I hope you enjoyed this little review of uh, Plasma Blast, and I'll leave the word to, uh, yeah, hmm, to Bryce. Let, let's go. Hey guys, what's up? It's Bryce, or 801 Infernape, here to report some video game news that we have going on. Alright, first things first, let's talk about the event Pokemon that are coming out for Black 2, White 2, um, and Black and White. First things first, Shiny Palkia coming out right after Shiny Dialga. Same thing, GameStop for US, EDB Games for uh, Canada, and I'm not sure about the UK, but I'm sure you guys will know if you do live in the UK. And the release date for Shiny Palkia is September 13th to September 26th, so make sure you get on the Shiny Palkia. And then Shiny Garatina comes out September 30th to October 20th in the US. In Canada and Europe, it comes out the 27th to October 11th. So September 27th to October 11th. All right, moving right on to the bigger news that everybody was freaking out about and wants to hear about. Pokemon X and Y. Pokemon X and Y news. So as we know, the game comes out in October. October 12th, I think. I'm not sure. Off the top of my head, I have it marked on my calendar because calendars. Um, first things first, they are coming out with exclusive 3DS XLs of Pokemon X and Y in Japan. And we did get the Pikachu one recently, so maybe we'll be getting the uh, Xerneas and Evalta 3DS. They look really good. They have like outlines of the, the Pokemon, and then it's like blue. Looks really good. There'll be a picture here. And uh, next thing. Actually, this isn't X and Y news, but Pokemon Rumble U has been announced for the U.S. and Europe. And um, it comes out on the Wii U, and I'm not sure on the release date on that, but I'm sure it'll be soon. Considering that they do like to get the spin-off games out, because they are really fun. I've never played the Rumble, but I hear it's really good. Alright, next in the news. Um, we may have missed a little bit of reporting, but um, we've been here, and we've been trying... But we've all been really busy. In Pokemon X and Y, they've released Fairy Type. I know we've missed all of this. That came out like months ago. In the whole Kalos region, they've released 29 new 6th gen Pokemon. And the three latest ones being Didene, Bunnelby, and Skidoo. Skidoo being the pre evolution of Go Goat. So you can ride around on the little Skidoo. They have it in the, uh, the video that just came out. Uh, Oh, last week, a few days ago, when the Curl Curl leaked, Coro Coro, Coro Coro, Coro Coro. The soundtrack to X and Y is going to be on iTunes, 220 songs, and you'll be able to download it and listen to it and put it on your videos. I think it's going to be sweet. I think this is the first time they've released a soundtrack onto iTunes. I'm not really sure, but uh, that's going to be awesome. I'm probably going to download it, because why not? Alright, next. Next is probably the biggest new since Fairy Type. And it's probably the biggest news since Pokemon released 2nd Gen, because no one knew about 2nd Gen. But, um, Mega Evolution. Mega Evolution. Woo! I know a lot of people are on the fence about this. Either they like it or they hate it. 
I personally love the idea. I love that Pokemon are just going to get stronger and they're going to look, I don't know, I think they look cooler, honestly. So, let's get down to the whole nitty gritty about, nitty gritty, about Mega Evolution. Mega Evolution is only certain Pokemon can Mega Evolve and they have to have their certain Mega Stone. Blaziken being one of the Pokemon to evolve and it has to have the Blazikenite. The Blazikenite is a special item that can only be held by Blaziken to make him into a Mega. So every Mega Pokemon has its own special Mega Stone. Lucario has Lucario Knight. I'm assuming that all of them have their names in front of Ite. But it would be really weird to have Dragonite Ite. Does that like work? Dragonite Ite? The Mega Pokemon that we have confirmed so far is Mewtwo. Everybody was calling it his Awakened form. But it's actually his Mega Evolution being really cool. And it gives him on Insomnia. And it boosts his, uh, I think, special attack stat. I'm not sure, but he does get a stat boost, making him even stronger. Since P2 is pretty crazy strong already. Um, next thing we got Ampharos. Ampharos becomes Dragon and Electric, and he gets the move. I mean, the ability Mold Breaker. Mold Breaker is great. I think. Who has it? Hexorus. Hexorus has it. Mawile is another Pokemon that gets its. Mega Evolution becoming, is it Fairy Steel already? Or it just becomes Fairy Steel. It gets huge power, but that's going to make him way good in uh, Wi-Fi battles. And intense. He's going to be intense. And then the next one I'm excited about, Lucario. Lucario comes with Adaptability and he gets an attack and I think a Speed Boost. Um, like EV stat, which is going to be really killer for him because he's amazing. Adaptability is going to make him hit everything. Um, Blaziken, Mega Blaziken gets speed boost right off the bat. Absol, Mega Absol is the next one, and it comes with Magic Bounce. And last but not least, the Pokemon that was just revealed a few days ago, Mega Kangaskhan. Mega Kangaskhan, the baby comes out of the pouch, and it gets a uh, ability called Parental Bond. Parental, Parental Bond, making it so it can hit twice. It's extremely exciting because Kangaskhan, they've needed some more to do with Kangaskhan, and it's looking really sweet. Anyways, moving on, there's the there's the Tower of Mastery, which has to do with Mega Evolution. We don't know exactly what it has to do yet, but we'll, I'm sure we'll be finding out here in the future. And we'll let you know. We'll keep the, the news up. Next is the Gym Leader, Corina. And she has a tie to Mega Evolution, and she'll be teaching you how to Mega Evolve, I think. I'm not sure, but they have... Um, confirmed that she has a lot to do with Mega Evolution. Super Training is a new thing that helps you increase your EV stats. It's a little game you do, like mini game you do, and it'll help you increase your EV stats faster. So that's great that they're making it a way to uh, give you easier EV stats because grinding for hours is just it's so repetitive and boring. Um, next, we actually have an event for X and Y. Right as the game comes out, you can get a Torchic. It comes with a with Blazikenite. So um, after you learn how to Mega Evolve, you can instantly Mega Evolve your Torchic. And he comes with Speed Boost. And that starts October 12th to January 15th. So make sure you get on with that Torchic. It's going to be really sweet. Make sure you leave a comment below with which of the three Sinnoh Legendaries that you like. Um, personally, I like Garatina the most. And maybe you like Palkia. It's shiny Palkia. A little pink Palkia or Shining Dialga. But um, I'm really excited to get a reverse world Garatina in Shiny form. I kind of soft reset it for a little while and it didn't work out and I gave up because I don't have that much time. But thank you guys again for watching and I will see you guys next time. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, 801 Infernape, if you want to. I mean, you don't have to. And uh, check out everybody else's channel like Water and Grass, HSF144, Zapdos TCG, and Chris. Slayer of MCA. We also have a ton of gym leaders, and you can check their channels out below. Um, we're gonna have a ton of links down, down there, down there. Links, 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 links. And uh, feel free to check out Four Ninja Toads. He's a really cool dude. I don't know him on a personal level. I've seen his videos though. He's really, really cool. Big John. Big John. So yeah, make sure to check him out, and I'll see you guys next time. What's up, Sinnoh Soldiers? This is HSF144, and for Episode 7, I will be doing another Nintendo World Tour. 
as well as um, doing a pack opening battle with Chibi Leafeon. So um, right now I will be showing you Nintendo World. Sad though? It is sad. Alright. What's up guys? What's up Sinnoh Soldiers? This is HSF144. I'm along with Chibi Leafeon with his awesome little little snivy shirt. <laughs> and um, we got some nice little uh, polka dolls for you to see. Let's start with Zora. We got Groudon and Kyogre. Latios. We got a Munchlax here, that's random. We got... Where's the Latios? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what is this? Spoongus. Spoongus? I know, but I'm not gonna look at them. We got Tim Pole. Um, Meloetta. Don't forget about Sock. Oh, yeah. Sock. <laughs> of course I'm gonna forget about Sock. Verizian. Cobalion. Oh, there's Terrakion. Yo, retaliate. <laughs> We got Throw. Monkeys. The monkeys, I don't even want to name them. <laughs> got Turtwig. Uh, Oshawott. Uh, Was it Ducklet? Ducklet. They got Sandile. Let's see. We got Pachirisu. <laughs> Flying Pachirisu. That's red that's and blue Pachirisu. Hustle and mine it. <laughs> um, Samurott version of Pachirisu. <laughs> we got Embor. <laughs> we got Servine. Let's see, we got a Pikachu. That's not for sale. <laughs> um, let's see, Lucario. Oh, no, I remember this guy. No, you don't. I remember this guy. Uh, uh, steel version of Pachirisu. It's Ponyo. We got, <laughs> we got um, Skitty. Regigigas. Torchic. Um, man, these guys. Oh, oh, I say I saw him pedal ill. I saw the tag. What about the one we cheat though? It's all alone. Because he's all alone. I'm not going to record him. We got the Raikou, a Shaman, Shaman's so cute. And then another Munchlax with the other Munchlaxes. What's in the, oh shoot, that fell. Oh, Raikou. Is there any Suicune? I don't think nope. so. Nope. Hey, we got Ice Teddy Ursa. It's Cub 2. We got Muna, we got Chimchar, um, Timber. The vein thing's weird, I don't know, I don't, <laughs> like, that's not kid friendly. Oh, we got, Mincino. Um. Oh. Was it resolute form? Yeah. Resolution form of Keldeo. It's got a little floppy. It's got a. <laughs> all right. Um. Pit ofs. Oh. Gothitas. What else? We got giant Charizards. What do I want to get, actually? What do you want to get? You also got know. keychains. Yeah, we do got keychains. But no one cares about the keychains. Got a Molga. These are life size ones. A giant. Yeah, these are so huge. Why is this one? Okay. <laughs> um. Oh, that's a Molga. Oh, that's what I wanted to get. <laughs> I wanted to get an Umbreon and some Wobble Fed. But actually, the Umbreon. I'm gonna get an Umbreon. I feel like they. What happened to his feet? I'm gonna get one that. Okay, <laughs> I think they all look like this. What's wrong? Oh, and then we got Palkia. I guess Jesse likes that, but whatever. I don't care. Um, we got Chirons, Zekroms. They're the regular one. Oh, they're black. And we got the white. We got white Chirons. Shut up. Um, Reshirams, more Chinchinos. Don't do that. They, they're gonna like kick us out. No, they're not. That's okay. Some shirts. Do you guys want shirts? No one wants shirts. Anyway. No one cares about shirts. Alright, that's it for now. I think I'm gonna get an Umbreon with its stubby little legs. And uh, I'll see you guys later. So that was the plushies and toys and all that stuff from um, a couple months ago. So I definitely have to go back. But um, now I will be showing you the pack opening battle that I did a while back as well with uh, Chibi Leafeon. So enjoy. What's up, Pokey Tubers? This is HSF144. And I'm Chibi Leafy, Alan. And uh, we're gonna have a pack battle. So, the rules are simple. Um, three, three points for an EX, four points for a Full Art. Um, Deoxys and Thunderous are four points. The Full Arts are five points. Juniper, three points. No, wait. Juniper is, Juniper is four points, right? Eight points. Eight points, my ass. Um, <laughs> Uh, what's the what's the dude Getsis? Yeah, he's three. 
Um, Karm's three. Um, Hollows are two. Kyrum, Kyrum, uh, this, this card is fucking three points. Why can't it be three? I mean, isn't it good? It's, re it's, it's good. good, but it's not that good. Okay, fine. <laughs> Guts should be like a point and a half. Because it sucks balls. Just, you just said Guts was good. Alright, whatever. Okay, I fine. said Guts came in a full on it. Okay, fine. Guts is normal. Guts is two and Karm's two because, because so says Chris. Anyway. Can you even see? You can see everything. Oh. Oh, yeah, you can actually. Alright, so. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Who wants to go first? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, heads or tails? Tails. Okay. Why is it always tails? <laughs> go, go, just please go. Alright, uh, I want Tails never fails. Oh, fish for fish art. That's my only fish art. That's my only fish art. How many absolutes do you have? <laughs> Bro, I absolutely like it. It's my job. One, two, three, one, two. So we got Nidoran Female, Cacnea, Hoot Hoot, Eevee, Starly, Shadow Eevee. Child, Miltank, and the Villain of Christmas Reverse. It's an Onyx. It's a... It's an Onyx. It's not a rare. Come on, Onyx. Oh, 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 that's two points. All right, all right, all right. Bonus. So my Dish Art Pack. Let's go. It's gonna be easy cake. One, two, three. One, two. Alright, so we got Horsey, Dino, Litwig, Pachirisu, Shriko, Team Plasma Badge, Palpitoad, Staravia. Reverse is a Metagross, which is a rare, so that's one point. And my rare is a Hydreigon, which is two points. Damn, it's beating you by one point. Let's Bad go. bourgeois. Let's go. Right now. Where are you at right now? Alright, I'll send up an Absol. Well, I got two legendaries, so. It's not gonna end them all for you. Just, just. Not true. Yeah, how are you gonna beat Metal Catcherisu? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, Vanillaite, Horsey, Trico, Grimer, Yamas, Frozen Paradise, and Tang. Uh -huh. Why is it Yamas? Yeah, I'm sorry. Whoever pops a coffee, Grigus. There's a reverse Noctowl, which is uh, oh, common. uncommon. And my rare. Deoxys! Uh, what is that? Four points? Yeah. Five. Five. Mm. Yeah, now we get to get my Deoxys back. <laughs> Alright, let's get some Absalon. Absalon, Absalon action? See, that's what happens when you go first. <laughs> you always get the good stuff. Don't worry, he has a full art one. Who? I got Raditz, huh? <laughs> Magneta, Dino, Vanilla, Mankey, Bisharp, Kokorok, Noctowl. Come on, Coffee Reverse. Vegas. Seedra, which is yeah, uncommon. uncommon. Rare Kingdra, so that's two more, so it's five. So five to five? Man, on oh, Mando, I have the yes. I know, I know, trust me. Uh, I'll set up an asshole. Wait, no, you have six. Oh, oh yeah, two. Oh, oh yeah. I, I don't number. You can't add. You got it. He's black. Oh, you got the deoxys. Black hands. One, two, three. Black deoxys. That's so profit. So we got Yamas, Litwick, Primus, yeah, but I mean, Chin Chow, Weedle, Vaporeon, Are you going to sell it now? I don't know. Um, our verse is a Hoot Hoot. Oh, yo, that's the rarest. My rare. It's a Coffee Green. Coffee Green is the wrong one, but it's a regular rare, so it doesn't come into anything. This, this. Would you open up? Oh, you opened up yeah. another Absol? Yeah. But I have Absol's up the ass. I got an Absol for Absol, though. Alright. What are you doing, What do you like to do? One, two, three, one, two. We got Sandile, Cacnea, Sneasel, Makahita, Eevee, Plasma, plasma Energy, energy Mawile, the Tang. Look, there's so many Plasma Energies. Reverse, Ketrion, which it's is a rare. rare, so that's one point. My rare is a... Kofagrigas! Kofagrigas! So it's so 6 sad, six. Sadly, we're tied. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, I don't know. No, let's go legendary, son. All right. I mean, which would like, which go. I'll finish off with the office. I'm fine with that. Okay. It's not even the good coffee, Grigas. Hey. The one that fucking but suicide. It's Yamas, oh, Yamas. It's my Riedel, coffee, Temple, near and female, primate, another Vipoya, another Neorito. Cocoon. Was this a reverse? Cocoon. When did that happen? Evely! This gotta be like zero points. Yeah. Rare. Oh, it's a rare. Yeah, no, it's nothing to that high. More like Star Craft. Oh, oh, no, I'm joking. Shots fire. Shots have been fired. All right, let's go with Deldum, oh, no. Boltor, Pachirisu, Cacnea, Hoot Hoot, Bisharp, Floatstone, nice, execute. Floatstone's 2B, Reverse, Jolteon, which is an uncommon. Rare's a Beedrill. All right. Hey, I'll do it the last act at the same time. That'll be weird to the viewers, but alright, let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. What are you guys, tied right now? Yeah, pretty yeah. much. 
Two, three, one, two. Oh, I felt something good. We got Hooper, Voltorb, Pedrisu, Dano, Sneasel, Frozen City, Noctowl, and Toilus. I got Primate, Horsey, Trico, Temple, Ponyon, Shadow Triad, Nidorina, and Onyx. Verse? Electrode, Verse. which is a rare. Oh, uh, both rares. Oh, no, this is good. Yeah, both yeah, rares. Rare. rare. Oh, we tie! <laughs> That's ridiculous. How are you gonna do that? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do here. Come on, really? Why are you gonna do that? They will settle this in a Pokemon battle. Thank you for watching my segment. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned for more episodes of Team Sinnoh. And um, yeah, subscribe to everyone involved, as well as Chibi Leaf Yon, X Oshawa, Chris X, and um, who else was there at the time. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. And now I'll pass it on to Jesse. All right, and before we wrap this episode seven up, let's go into my little mini rant section called Pain in My Grass. Get it? You know, Pain in My Grass, I'm watering grass, and this is kind of a G rated episode. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about what we're going to be ranting about. We're going to be ranting about the prices of Pokemon cards. Now, if you know Pokemon, you know the cards. You trade them, you collect them, and you play the game. However, that doesn't mean that Pokemon cards aren't, you know, pricey. They're a little bit expensive. Now, let's use Genesect EX Full Art as an example. It's all fresh in our mind. It just came out in Plasma Blast. And it's a pretty playable EX card. Now, for a Full Art version, you're looking to spend $30 per card. A playset of Pokemon cards is four. Four of the same name. Now, that means a Genesect EX, if you buy four Full Art versions, is going to cost you about $120, which... You know, let's say someone's working minimum wage, that's half of their paycheck. So, it can get very, very pricey. Now, the reason why Genesect EX is so expensive, the full art version, is because it is playable in the trading card game. Now, if you're a collector, you should know that. You can get a Palkia EX for about $9 right now, an EX full art for about $9 right now. It's a beautiful card. Palkia EX is one of my favorite legendary Pokemon. But the card itself is not playable. It is not a playable EX in the trading card game, which is why it's not that expensive. Now, if you're a collector, what you should do, honestly, is wait for, buy the cheap cards, buy the Pocket EX Full Arts, you know, the Jirachi EX Full Arts you can get for about 10, 11 bucks, and wait for the prices of the Genesect EX and Verizion EXs and cards like that to go down. Now, if you remember the Rayquaza Shiny from Dragon's Exalted, that's a bit of a fresh example. When that card was first released, it was going for insane prices, $100, $120 for one version of that card. You go online now, you can find that card for 30 bucks on eBay and possibly get it even cheaper than that. So that, even though it's still expensive for a single card, has gone down substantially in price. Now, if you guys played a few years ago, you remember Luxray GL Level X. Now, that card was going for insane prices as well. It was going for like 70, 80 bucks for a single copy of it. You go online right now, after it's been rotated out of the playing game, out of the trading card game, and uh, it's, you can find it online for about seven to ten dollars. So if you're a collector, my advice to you would to be wait a little bit, then buy the card online, buy the cards that you know, if you, you can complete that are cheap when a set is released, and then wait a little bit to get the cards that are being played right now. Now, Pokemon card packs are about four dollars, roughly around 435 after tax if you live in Florida like I do. Now, that's not too bad. You have the chance of buying a pack of Pokemon cards and pulling a card that is worth, you know, 10 times what the pack, you know, what you paid for the pack is. So, it's pretty good odds. It's gambling, which I guess if you buy a lot of Pokemon cards, you should probably stay away from Las Vegas because you'll end up broke. <laughs> but, um, it's gambling in the sense. You know, you're going to buy a $4 pack of cards and hope that you get that Genesect EX where you're going to pay for the pack plus you have some money to spare if you decide to sell the card. Now, Pokemon cards do go down in value and Pokemon does a fantastic thing with these collector's tins recently. Um, they released extremely playable EXs such as Mewtwo EX, Darkrai EX, Rayquaza EX, Keldeo EX, and in September or October, I believe, one of the two, they're going to be releasing the Legendary Collector's Tins for Lugia EX, Thunderous EX, and Deoxys EX. Meaning that the prices of the normal arts will go down in price. You know, the ones from the sets, the full arts, the normal arts, uh, I believe Deoxys EX is in Plasma Freeze, for example. That card will go down in price a little bit. Right now, you're looking, you can buy a full art for about $25, I want to say. So, 
It's still expensive, still $100 for a playset. However, with the release of those tins, thanks to Pokemon, the price will go down. So Pokemon does make it a little bit more affordable if you want to play with these collector's tins. You gotta have those EXs to compete in the format. You know, so they what do they do? They release these tins because they know that the cards from the set themselves get expensive. Now that doesn't mean that other cards don't get very, very expensive. You guys remember Gold Stars from the EX series, the old EX series. A lot of them go for a lot of money right now. So if you collected them a bunch then, hey, more power to you. You got a lot of money sitting in your binder right now. Um, now the reason why things go up, just like any collector's item, like these gold stars, is because of the collector's market. Now there's always going to be a collector's market for certain Pokemon cards, just how it works. Meaning the prices are going to fluctuate constantly. They're going to go up, they're going to go down, it's going to be a roller coaster of prices. Now, the reason why some cards are so much more expensive than others is because of the playability. But that's usually only during when that card is playable. So, I would, if my advice would be, stay away from pre-release sales. Because pre-release sales can get a bit ridiculous. I mean, you can buy a pre-release card, you know, let's say uh, Troll and Toad, for example. Selling a uh, Genesect, let's, let's say Plasma Blast didn't come out yet, right? Uh, let's say they're selling a Genesect EX Full Art, you know pre-order, obviously it's gone down now, for about $50, $60, right? That's insane. <laughs> right now you can get two Genesect EX for about $50, $60. So if I were you, if you were collecting, playing, stay away from the, the pre-release sales. Now if you can afford them, more power to you. Go out and buy them. Buy as many as you'd like. But I'm talking about for the average person, you know, has other bills to pay, such as myself, or even the kids who parents have bills to pay. So Pokemon can get very, very expensive. There are some tips to, you know, help alleviate the pressure of paying for it. However, it is a fun game, and if you can't really afford it, but, you know, you really like playing, Pokemon does release those EXs. They release different deals, and you can always find sales online. People are always looking to sell, and you can always strike a good deal on eBay as well. So that's my little rant for the prices of Pokemon cards. I personally think it's a little bit expensive. However, I do believe that it's worth it, and there are ways around it. Now, we'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Team Sinnoh. This is episode 7, and we really hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this episode was brought to you in part by Ash Ketchum, the ageless boy wonder. Should be Batman psychic. <laughs> and this episode was also brought to you in part by Yanega and Meganium. They were mega Pokemon before mega evolutions was cool hipsters. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, remember to hit that big thumbs up. Of course, give this video a like. Comment down below with your awesome, awesome, awesome feedback. Love to hear what you guys have to say. And we love to read comments about our episodes. Now, I am Watering Grass. Be sure to check out 4NinjaToads.com. I will see you all in the next video. Be sure to check out all the links down below in the description. Have a great day. Have a great night. Wherever you are in the world, I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye, guys.